Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review on the Dream Street palette that Kathleen Light did with ColourPop Cosmetics. Um, so I already filmed this video once, actually, and it was my first video that I like filmed since not filming for like six months, something ridiculous like that. So it was a little bit all over the place, A, and B, I had some technical difficulties, so I'm just, I scrapped it completely except for the demo. So in the demo, I'm wearing different clothes than I am right now, and also in the thumbnail, I'm wearing different clothes than I am right now. So it's kind of just all over the place, but just please forgive that. Um, but yeah, let's just hop into the review. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually the packaging of this palette. I think it is packaged so beautifully. I really love the white and like the rose gold marbling with the little tiny stars. I love the foil. I just, I love the packaging. Um... It's cardboard, it's super slim, so it's really convenient to travel with. The only, like, downside- well, actually, there's two. There's no mirror, A, but it's $16, so I mean, like, it's not gonna break the bank. You can bring along another mirror or use a different mirror if you want to travel with this. Um, and also, I really do not like how ColourPop prints their shades on the back of their package. It's kind of like- it's not like- like, Shooting Star isn't directly behind this. It's- as if you were looking at the palette when it was open faced like this, like this is shooting star, but the name is all the way over here. So I think that's really confusing and I don't personally like that pack that aspect of the packaging, but other than that, I really do love the packaging of this palette. So let's get into the actual shades of the eyeshadows themselves. So you get six mattes in this palette, five metallic shades, and then one satin shade. So let's start with the mattes first. So these are super duper pigmented. Like you'll, you guys will see in the live swatches how crazy pigmented these are. They are so, so beautiful. And they blend really beautifully too. They're super pigmented. I just, I really, really love the mattes. I think they did such a good job with the mattes in this palette. Um, I will say though that when you, if you're someone who likes to put like a matte color in your crease, um, to really anchor your look down, if you use solely the mattes in this palette to kind of anchor your look, you are going to come off with a very warm look, which doesn't bother me at all because I love warm tones. Like, you guys know I love warm tones. Um, so yeah, but that's just something to know if you are going to purchase this. I also do really like that they provide some matte pops of color. I think sometimes those are easier to wear than shimmery pops of color just because you can use them as like a statement liner or just smudge them to your lower lash line. I just think they're a little bit more versatile, but yeah mattes get a double thumbs up from me. Alright, so if I'm being quite honest with you guys, the metallic shades, the shimmer shades in here, they're a bit of a different story for me. Um, I have absolutely no problems with Twinkle or with Mermaid Boy or Kaleidoscope. My problems are with um, Stardust and with Sweet Dreams right here. Now, these shades, there's some pigment to them, but they're on the sheer side. Like, you can just tell when you dip your finger in them. Um, these two especially are so creamy when you dip your finger in them, like you know that's going to be a beautiful gorgeous eyeshadow, but I'll sh show you guys. Um, you'll see it again in the live swatches, but like when you dip into this one, this one's not as bad, it's just not as intense as, um, Twinkle is like, look at the difference between those two. Like you can just tell how much more pigment is in that one. And then with... Um, sweet dreams. I just feel like I just get more shimmer than anything else in here. And Kathleen did say in her video that with um, sweet dreams, she does recommend using setting spray on your brush, which I I don't know. I have a hard time like feeling like that redeems an eyeshadow, but I don't know. It's just one shade in here. It's only sixteen bucks, and if you pop it over a glitter primer or like she said, wet your brush before you use it, um, you're fine. It's a really pretty shade. But I just wanted to note that. Another thing that I want to note about the shimmers is that Moony right here, which is the only kind of like highlighty shade in this palette, if you're as fair as I am, it's not really going to be like a brightening highlighty shade. It does add some uh, luminosity, but like you can tell even on my finger, it's not brighter than my skin tone. Peachy. Um, which is totally fine. It works as an inner corner highlight. I wouldn't really recommend it under the brow, but just if you're super pale, don't rely on that as like a super stark highlight. But that one is very creamy, very pigmented. Um, yeah, I really love that shade. I also think Kaleidoscope is like such a cool shade. Like it's not a shade that we see every day in every palette. So I really do like the shade selection in this palette. I think it's very unique and I really like that they included some pops of color. Um, just because then it's- I mean, this palette is very warm. It has some similarities to, like, every other warm palette on the market, like, two warm medium browns, and this 
super like orangey brown and this that one's not that one's more plummy but I love plummy browns but I really like that they added some pops of color like this red coral shade in this deep blue and the shimmery blue I just think it's so well thought out and another thing I do want to know about them sh about the shadows themselves they're not the only one that's a little bit powdery in the pan is shooting star right here and I mean I think you guys can kind of tell that one has more of a dip in it than anything else and I've been using this palette quite a lot but um, I would recommend tapping off your brush before going in on your eyes with these, especially if you've already done your face makeup. There's not crazy amounts of fallout, but there is a little tiny bit of fallout, so just a word of warning. Um, so I did do a demo of, not this look, I'm sorry, this is a get ready with me look, like I said, I already filmed this video. Um, but I did a demo of like a really just soft, pretty copper eye, um, and I will pop that in right here. But I am also going to do a three looks in one palette. So this is not the only look. I know it's super basic, but I just thought it would be um, a fun look to throw in for this one. I promise I'll do more fun ones in the um, three in one palette video. All right, so I'm starting out with Magical and I'm putting that in my crease just as a transition shade just to help everything blend. Then I'm going in with Shooting Star and I'm going to blend this throughout my crease and also in my outer corner just to kind of add a little depth and help blend our other shades out. And next I'm going to go in with a mixture of Potion and Elfish. And I'm going to focus this mainly in my outer corner, but also um, in my crease a little bit just to add some depth. Next, next I'm going to go in with Twinkle, and I'm just going to pat this color all over my lid. This is such, such a beautiful shade. It might be my favorite shade in the whole palette. It's so reflective, so metallic, so crazy pigmented. And next I'm going to go in with Magical and Shooting Star, and I'm just going to... And I'm just going to smudge that under my lower lash line to give myself some definition. And then I'm going to go in with Mooney and put that on my inner corners just for some brightness. And then I'm going to top it all off with some mascara. Alright, so I know the look was super basic, kind of boring, but I just wanted to do something wearable for this um, video since I am going to do the three looks in one video. I promise I'll get more creative in that one. And I also took a poll on Instagram and asked if you guys wanted to see live swatches or just like have me swatch my arm and then show you. And you guys wanted live swatches, so let's get into those. give this palette two thumbs up I think it is a beautiful palette beautifully made I think Kathleen did such an amazing job with it um, I really do think it's worth the 16 bucks that it's priced at um, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you get it and I think Kathleen is just so amazing and I'm like so happy for her that she got to create this awesome awesome little palette so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um, please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And if you have any video requests, please, please, please leave them down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!